I have got something really exciting to show you today. This is Princess's brand spanking new Princess Y95. Just been launched and we are getting a full tour of this one. This is a really lovely boat. Now you might have seen the Princess X95 on the channel. The X95 I would say is probably more of an accommodation bias boat. This is really majoring on deck space. There's some fantastic areas on this one. But having said that, the thing that amazes me most about it is there is no sense of compromise whatsoever in terms of the interior. The interior on this is brilliant. But yeah, some really great deck spaces as well. You can probably notice some of them already and we'll take a full tour of all of that. We're going to every area on this one. We're going into the guest areas, the saloon areas, the crew areas, the engine areas, the deck areas, the lot. And I think you're going to enjoy it. This is a beautiful, beautiful boat. It's state of the art for Princess really, because as I say, it's the newest one they've done. And I have to say, I think it's a great looking boat. There's some nice lines to this, the way that this sweeps forward and then you've got this line above it as well. It's a nice piece of kit. And the other interesting thing about this is, although it is a 95 foot boat, they've actually kept the load line length and the hull length below the 24 meters. So for crewing and that kind of stuff, it just keeps the cost down and keeps the whole boat a little bit more accessible. We're going to step on here via the bathing platform. Now what you've got on here, rather than the high load platform, is you've got this extending section you can see. Now this can lower down into the water, that area stays flat, which means you've got a great walkway into the water, but it also means it can pick up a tender, lift it up, swing it across, that section comes out, that retracts down into there, and that means you can put a Williams 505, so a five metre tender, onto here very easily. This is interesting, we're going to come to this of course. In fact, what I think we're going to do is skip straight through the deck areas first of all and show you the interior, because that's just beautiful, but there's a lot to talk about out here as well, and we will of course come to this. So, we're going to head on just here, or head in just here I should say, and let the tour commence. Check this out. This just feels so spacious as you come into here. It's fantastic. Big windows. There's a lot of options in here as well, actually. So this is an owner spec table in here. You can change, for example, this dining table. You can have a circular dining table over on this side and you can have a bar area that comes out around here. You've got sliding doors over here. You can choose to have a window if you prefer. You can choose to have sliding doors on that side if you prefer. So there's a lot you can do here to make it exactly how you want it. A lot of neat little details tucked away as well. So for example, if we look in here, we've got the name Hi-Fi Systems. There's one for the saloon and one for the cockpit. And the details in here, the little bits of upholstery on here, the stainless steel work, and of course the woodwork, which is very much a princess thing is just beautiful. All the light switches are here, but also you've got things like the TV lifts. So this one here swings this one into life. And you'll notice there's another button there, and I'll explain that when we go outside. But that one there is a 65 inch TV, and we've got surround sound as well. So we've got speakers up here, we've got speakers up here. That makes that a really great movie area. We'll press on a bit further, <laughs> leave that chatting away behind us. There's a nice little area over here. It's like a sideboard, really. And what you've got here, then, is things like the wine cooler. The um, ice maker is in here. And then you've got these as well. This is just stunning. This is such a princess thing. All illuminated, these beautiful crystal glasses in here. All soft clothes, of course. Just stunning. And then you've got the same sort of deal. so that you can have your cutlery in there, for example, and so forth. The other thing that we've got, actually, while we're in this area, is a little button down here, which if I push it, will power that one open. And this takes us straight into the galley. Lot to look at here. First of all, you've got a door here for the crew to go straight out onto the side deck and out of the boat without needing to go through the guest areas if they prefer. Other things that we've got here, let's just power that one shut again. This is quite neat, this is for a coffee machine, but also you can close this off because this slides out. There's so much detail on this. And then swings across so we can close that if we want to. If we look underneath, that again, cutlery and crockery, all beautifully stowed and safe and wonderfully presented. That's just so nice. I'm so enthusiastic about this boat, honestly. 
let's swing around a little bit further. We've got another wine cooler here. We've got the Sub-Zero fridges, twin fridges. You know what a fridge looks like, but nonetheless, there is really good size. And of course, freezer compartments down underneath. Like so. This is interesting. This is actually the escape hatch from the lower deck. If I open that one, obviously it's designed to be accessed from underneath, but you can see there's the ladder in there and there's another hatch. We'll see that when we go down into the lower deck. I'll show you where that is, but that is another route out for an emergency. What else have we got here? We've got the bin. You can have a trash compactor there if you prefer. We've got the dishwasher here as well. Thusly, love little details like this up here. And the way it's finished, this woodwork, the stainless steel, it's just fantastic. Head on forward a little bit further, we've got more storage then, up in places like this. We've got the big window here for a great view when you're washing up. There's a blind to come down over that. In fact, the blinds are powered, hang on. Find the right button, there we go. Very nice. What else have we got? Bit more storage underneath but they put it into everywhere so you've got little areas like this you see just tuck stuff away all Mila cooking across here again as you can see and then these are nice because what these do is they power out like that so you can get to everything and then slide back in as you close it two of those there's a ton of storage actually all over this boat. There's just loads and loads of storage. And there's another doorway here. Now you don't have to have that doorway. You can have that blocked off and have this as a big pantry area with more storage. But what this does is it takes you through into this area. It's like a lobby area. We've got the stairs up and down. We'll obviously go around both of those. We've got the uh, the owner's cabin on the main deck, that's further forward, and this then brings us back. There's another doorway here, add onto a side deck, so all of this is reachable without going through the saloon. And this then brings us back, just to show you where we are, into this dining area. So that's where we went in over there, this is where we've come out. And it's worth mentioning that this area here is something of a blank canvas. This is what Princess do with it. If you want art on there, you can have it. If you want backlit oinks on there, you can have it. Onks, oinks, <laughs> I've not pronounced that right, have I? But you know what I mean. So that you can set up however you like it, basically. Look at the way they've done this woodwork here. Oh, stunning. Let's press on forward. It's worth mentioning that there's no steps all the way through this whole main deck from the cockpit right the way through the saloon, through the lobby and into the forward cabin is all on a single level. That's that door we came from the galley area. There's a day heads over on this side. That's tucked away around there. Again, you've got the blinds, of course, in the window. And this is the main deck owner cabin. Check this out. Absolutely stunning. Loads of space. Worth mentioning, this is a very different layout here to the X95. They've not just simply taken an X95 and put a different top on it. This, on the X95, for example, this is further forward and the, uh, the heads area is back behind it. There's a window at the front and so on. They've changed this quite a bit for this boat. Talking of changes, you can change this if you want to. So we've got a seating area here. If you want to have a little uh, table in the centre and a couple of chairs, you can. If you want to have a storage down there, then you can do. But actually, there is a ton of storage. So you've got it in places like this. So wardrobe there. There's another one just behind me on this side. And in fact, if we go right around here, got this beautiful dressing table again more storage about the place that lifts up like so soft touch close another thing you've got here which is rather neat is another drinks cooler so you don't need to go far for your drinks and as if that wasn't enough and this just feels a little bit james bond check this out i can drink money penny i'll just get a glass <laughs> there we go. Also here, big walk-in wardrobe. Check this out. That's a great size. You've got drawers down in here as well, of course. Oh, there we go. 
So these, <laughs> I don't need to show you what a drawer looks like, do I? But again, all soft clothes. And then we can come back from here. Look at this, all this, this is rubber here. Oh, we can see that, there we go. So that it doesn't rattle, it seals nicely. 65 inch TV, it's a 65 inch in the saloon as well. So fantastic for watching a movie at night if you want to. Um, this is one of the escape hatches I mentioned. This one actually takes you out onto the foredeck. I'll show you that when we go outside. So another route out of here if it's ever needed. And if we come across here, that is the ensuite for this cabin. So we've got toilet down this end, and this has its frosted door, so you've got that to come across as well. Thusly. And then you've got the twin sinks, you've got more storage down underneath, and then you've got the shower down this end. And again, of course, the blind, so you can have a bit more privacy if you want it, and those circular sections are opening sections. It's a rainfall shower, and you've got the wand shower there as well. But that is heated tower rail, heated floor as well. <laughs> it's just really nice to stand on. That's a magnificent cabin, isn't it? Love that. Love the, um, the lights on either side as well. They're really smart. And actually, while we're here, worth talking about the wood. All this wood you're seeing is a walnut finish in a satin. You can see it here as well. If you want high gloss, you can have it. If you want a gray finish, you can have it. If you want an oak finish, you can have it. There are four different choices of wood, and all of them are either satin or high gloss to your choice. So, You've got eight finishes in here, depending on what you want. Let's come back out through here. So just to reorientate us again, that's the door we came from, came through from the galley. That's the sliding door back into the saloon. But we're going to go this way and head down to the lower deck. Again, you're seeing the way this wood is formed and these beautiful louvres down in places like this. It's just gorgeous. We'll come right on down. And I think what we will do is we'll head forward and then we'll work our way back. So, you've got a really nice VIP cabin up here. Look at the size of that. That's what I mean, there's just no compromise whatsoever on this boat, it's fantastic. That is genuinely lovely, isn't it? Now again, you've got blinds that drop down, you've got AV equipment in here. This is storage in places like this, so they just open up like so. We've also got storage down underneath the bed. They've put it everywhere on this boat. They just slide out like that. So for bedding and that kind of thing, you've got plenty of places to put that away. More storage down here. And of course, all of these cabins are en suite. So this one is in here, again with a heated floor. Big rainfall shower, the tower rail and the loo. And another thing to mention in here is the fact that you can see the colour of the wood here, this walnut wood. In the bathrooms, they've gone for a greyer shade. Can you see that? Now that's a tiny detail, and I must admit, I didn't even notice it until it was pointed out to me. But that just shows the level of detail. A lot of companies just gone, yeah, wood, wood there, wood there, great, away we go. Princess have gone, yeah, but this is the bathroom. We want to have this just a little bit more muted. We're going for a grey wood there. Attention to detail is fantastic. We've got dressing table over here, and we've got a walk-in wardrobe. Again, all beautifully illuminated in there. These are access panels. These are getting us behind the scenes. So trunking, wiring, all that kind of stuff. In this case, it is um, circuit breakers. You can see, in fact, that one's removable again, so you can go on further behind the scenes. And the idea is that people can get to things without actually having to take the boat apart. Very, very nice cabin. Let's press on a bit further. So those are the steps that we came down. We've got two more cabins on either side. These are standard guest cabins. Now what you can do with these is you can power the beds together. So if you want a double bed in here, not a problem. Hit the button, bring, I think it's this one out to that one and then you've got double bed or two singles as they are now. You can also have a Pullman in here. So if you want more sleeping, so you've got kids, for example, you can put a Pullman in here, bring that down, and that takes the sleeping up to three, obviously. 
and in fact that takes the sleeping in total. If you put a Pullman in here and a Pullman in the one across the corridor, which we'll look at in a minute, then you've got four cabins down here. So that's a 910 with the uh, owner's cabin up on top and then with those Pullmans it takes you up to 12. Spin on round AV equipment again, uh, hanging closet again. And again, you can see the access panel there to get behind the scenes. And of course, en suite again. You can see again what I mean about the grey in here. It's just so nice. All the furniture in here, just lovely. Rainfall shower, the basin, the loo, and a little wave in the mirror. Fantastic. We'll cross the corridor. You can see on here as well. That's the button for the beds. There it goes. You can see how that moves across like that. I won't take it too far. Uh, that one there is air conditioning control. And then you've got lighting controls here. So you can go to a night setting, for example. You can adjust the intensity and so forth. OK, other side. Very similar deal. Two singles, converts to a double in the same way. Pull one here if you want it. Hanging locker is just there with a bit of storage underneath. The storage under the beds as well, I think I'm right in saying. Let's have a look. Yes, there we go. Lastly, little bedside cabinet as well. Tons of headroom in here all the way through, as you'd expect on a boat of this size. And then the ensuite for this cabin. Brilliant. Let's press on a bit further because of the other one to look at down here. Now this, again, technically it's a VIP, but this really is owner cabin standard. Just to mention this on the way past. This is a bit of shelving in here. If you want a washing machine in there, you can have it. But there are uh, laundry facilities in the crew area, so I'll show you that. But if you want an extra one, then you can do. Check this out. You see what I mean? That's not a VIP cabin, is it? That's an owner's cabin. Let's come right back over here. Just fantastic. Again, with a big TV. And look at the wood finishes they put in here, the wood and the upholstery. It's beautifully done. Let's come across this side. Again, you've got choices here. So if you want a little table and seats, so you've got somewhere to sit and have a bit of breakfast before you rise in the morning, then you can do. You can also have a, a sideboard arrangement there for more storage if you prefer. This one takes us into, again, it's all owner cabin standard, isn't it? So we've got the separate uh, toilet just there with the door that closes across that one. We've got the twin sinks and we've got the shower at this end. Again, you've got blinds to drop down over those windows if you prefer. And again, those circular sections are opening sections for a bit of ventilation if you want it. And the heated tower rail. But yeah, that's pretty special, isn't it? Fantastic. Let's go on around a bit further because we've got the dressing table over here. Look at the way the grain on here matches perfectly right the way across. It's absolutely fantastic. Bit of storage in there. And drawers in here. There we go. And then in here is another big walk-in wardrobe. Beautiful. Safe is in here as well. And again, you've got the access panels that take you back behind the scenes. But that is, I think you'll agree, a very special cabin. Awesome. Let's press on again. We've got um, a lot more to look at, actually. I like here the way that we've got the woodwork, which always looks great, but they've not gone mad with it. It doesn't feel heavy and claustrophobic with all the wood because they've made a feature of it rather than making all the panels out of it. That's great. That works really well. OK, back on round, up these steps. And this will bring us on round. So there's access straight out of the boat onto the side deck. That way takes us back to the saloon. That way takes us up to the owner's cabin and the day heads. But these steps 
take us up to the pilot house. So raised pilot house on this one, very commanding hand position. And I'm told the boat runs very flat, so the view out from here, even when she's at speed, is very, very good. Now we've got four, uh, no, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> then to Count Burnham, five multi-function displays across here. Two of these are bonding system. So this one here is a bonding system. We can go into the home screen and we can look at things like, well, everything is on here. Um, see ready status is telling us what's running, what's open, what's closed, the situation with the engines. We can come out of that. We can go into uh, DC distribution, see what's going on there. We can go into uh, water levels, for example, and pumps, AC pumps, DC pumps, all that kind of stuff. Uh, lighting is on here, air conditioning for the whole boat is on here. You can see it's all configurable everywhere at different levels. Um, what else have we got? I saw something quite interesting on here. What was it? AC power distribution. That was it. On this one, if you go to a marina and they don't have sufficient power in the marina, you can basically lock out certain areas. You might think, well, we don't need the lower accommodation because we're not staying uh, overnight, for example. And it means you don't start tripping out the shore power all the time. Obviously, there's generators on here as well, so you don't have to run the shore power if you don't want to, but that's a useful feature. Uh, lighting is on here, uh, like so, and then you can change for all off, so when you leave the boat, you just hit that and everything goes off. Um, harbour lighting, boarding lighting, evening lighting, so it's all configurable, quite beyond the switches in each of the individual cabins. We've got radar here, a second bonding screen, because there's so much going on with these screens, Rather than to keep dialing in and out of everything, you can have those two on different things that you're monitoring most of the time. Along here, a VHF radio, of course, engine controls, uh, hydraulic bow and stern thruster on this one, um, autopilot, obviously. That's the FLIR camera, night vision camera, and so forth. Compass up there, of course, big pantograph wipers. What else have we got here? We've got a bit of storage tucked away up behind here. There's more seating around here as well. That's a nice little area. And if we come back here, ah, that's what I was looking for. Circuit breakers, where well, they can be reached easily. And again, everything is very carefully labeled so you can see exactly what it all is. Let's close those over. And this one is the main uh, battery switches and AC systems controls as well. So you've got uh, battery chargers, battery switches, um, the windless passerelle, all the high load stuff is all switched from there. And you've got lighting and air conditioning, all that kind of stuff over here. Now to open this, we need to give that one a prod and that will unlock it. And then we can pull that one across like so. Okay. Up into here, we are now, as you probably worked out for yourself, let's just release that one again. There we go. So what we've got here then is the upper helm position. As you can imagine, amazing view from up here. And then you've got the triple multifunction displays across here. We're showing navigation and radar and the electrics at the minute but again like we saw down below these are all configurable we've got the helm position here engine controls are here and the usual autopilot thrusters radio all that kind of stuff is all there the other thing that we've got on here is the hard top there's various options with this this has got the louvre top which means that if i press the right button There we go, that opens like so. The options on here are, there's a, if I remember rightly, I think you have a glass panel if you prefer, or you can just have that solid and upholstered. Just depends where you're using the boat and how you want to configure it. Um, twin helms are here. Now, again, being a princess, it's all about being super practical. So you've got this wonderful, beautifully configured area, but then the practicalities of things like storage are not forgotten because if you look in here, that's some absolutely massive storage locker underneath there. If we come around here, these are huge. These go right back under this area. You've got canopies in there at the moment. And of course, this is all stuff you need when you're doing boating. 
you need to put all this stuff away because these little chaps here are for the covers that go around over here. This is a great seating area actually when the boat's underway. It's raised up slightly, it's next to the helm. It's a great place for people to sit and enjoy the ride. Now again, there's options here. So this one's got the dining table, as you can see, with the freestanding furniture around it. If you prefer, you can have a moulded, like a settee that goes all the way around and then a table in the centre. There's a bar area on this side. Love these finishes again. This sort of spray painted black here. And then you've got this in the grey. Looks really good. Sink underneath there. You probably guessed that from the tap, I would imagine. And then in here, You've got bits of storage again, but you've also got things like the, uh, the ice maker, I think that one is. Bit more storage in there. Yeah, and that's fridge in that one. And that one there is twin barbecues. Like so. People sometimes ask about why is there a mirror underneath there. The reason for that, actually, that's a stainless steel plate. And the idea is that if people switch those off when they're red hot and slam that straight down, it doesn't damage the GRP because that protects it. TV up here, and that retracts. And I think I'm right in saying swivels as well. So if you want to watch it from here, you can do. And then back here, Again, there's a lot of configuration choices. This is what we've got on this one. If you wanted sunbeds, you could have them, but you can also put a tender or a jet ski up here because there's a crane tucked away in behind there. That's the most discreet crane I think I've ever seen. Basically, when you use it, this whole bulkhead here, you can see how that split there, right back to there, hinges outwards to expose the crane, the crane then comes out and lifts your jet ski, or a needy tender, that five metre tender, you can put it up here if you want to. And then finally, if you want it, of course, you can have a hot tub up here instead. We've got the extending bimini that comes out of the back of the hardtop. So if you want more shade here, that comes out as we've got it at the minute. And there's so much space up here, of course, you can have then things like freestanding sun lounges, all that kind of stuff. That's there as well. Let's come right to the back. This, I think, is what I was saying earlier when I said compared to the X95, you've just got a colossal amount of deck space. On the X95, you've got a sky deck. You've got um, basically another saloon area up on the upper deck. And of course, inevitably, there's always a degree of compromise in as much as if you have that, fine, great, but you've got less space. Having said that, there's still plenty of outdoor space on that boat, it has to be said. But this, for like med living, with this all on one level right the way through, this is absolutely fantastic. And incredibly, it doesn't stop here because if we wander on through, we will find an access out through here. You can see there's a door on a pantograph that brings it in and into this section and we can step out here and walk forward and this is all again one level right the way through you're not wandering down steps to come down here and you've got this amazing area up here so basically this whole boat from the very bow right the way through is all outdoor space outdoor space outdoor space outdoor space right to the back in the cockpit of course underneath it's fantastic this in the right climate, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now I mentioned the um, escape hatch in the owner's cabin on the main deck. That's underneath one of these sunbeds, not quite sure which one. Um, but yeah, you push that up and you come out through here. So that's where that basically escapes to. And the one then on the lower deck that escapes up into the, uh, the galley area as we saw. We come down here, another seating area is what I mean about it being the full length of the boat it's just vast look at that absolutely fantastic anchor handling kit is here as you can see so we've got the twin winches for the twin anchors if we have a look in here that is the actual <laughs> anchor locker you can hear or anchor chain locker I should say you can hear echoing away but also a load of storage in there as well and in fact it's not just there because if I spin on round, there's another one. There we go. In there, so again, canopies, fenders, all that kind of stuff. Loads of space for all the deck gear. Very important. Let's come right to the very bow, step up onto here, take a look back from here. 
That is a magnificent yacht, isn't it? Just fantastic. Look at the lighting they've tucked away in all the steps and places like that. Just looks great. Okay, let's press on. Lots more, would you believe, to see. We'll go around this way. So we came out of the pilot house and then onto the flybridge and then back down here. We're going to go back down this side. Didn't show you, but in fact, life raft storage, you can just see it mm, there. And there's one on each side. Um, and again, you just push a button and those bulkheads give you direct access to it. And they are then very get atable as you would need in an emergency. Steps down here, there's a handrail going on here. So that'll give you a little bit more security as you wander down. This is the door back into that lobby area that we saw well, the galley went off of and the saloon went off of and the uh, owner's cabin went off of and also the steps up and down. And then these are the doors that open next to the dining area. Engine vents are back here. There's also a side door here. So if you're alongside a key, for example, you can step straight out that way. Look at this deck gear here. Again, very princess, all the stainless steel. Look how big these are. It's all proper big league stuff, isn't it? Okay, cockpit. <laughs> Still lots more to see. These are uh, escape hatches. One is from the crew area and one is from the engine room. We'll see the underside of those. There are more options here. This one has got like a bar area. So what you have here is a sink underneath there and um, a bit of storage in there. And then that one is a fridge, but what you can have is a bar that comes out to here so that people can stand behind it and serve or take that away completely and just extend the size of the cockpit. A lot of options, as I say. Over here, love the way they've done this in the black. This is actually a spray painted finish. Normally, when I've seen boats before, these are usually white GRP. That's very, very classy. And what we've got here is, again, just storage absolutely everywhere. It's fantastic. Down here, uh, this is basically like a safety locker. So we've got uh, fuel shutoffs for uh, engine, port engine, starboard engine, and the two generators. Uh, we've got air shutoffs here as well. We've got fire extinguisher pulls, automatic fire extinguishers, but that's a manual uh, takeoff for it. There's electric bilge pumps throughout the boat, but it's got manual backup bilge pumps as well. So you can pump from here and direct where you're pumping from from here. And because they mounted it like that, rather than putting it at the bottom of a locker, it means that you never ever have that buried under stuff. It's always very get out of all. A little bit more storage there. Got canopies in there at the moment. One more thing to show you. I mentioned there was another button next to the TV button, didn't I? Check this out. It is this button here. And if I give it a prod, that will reveal the cockpit television. <laughs> Some noisy seagulls going on in the background. Um, there's more options here as well, but while we're waiting for that to come down, I just mentioned that you can have a bigger table here. You can have a, a large table with two sections and then a center section that you can take out so it's easy to get around or it's big for dining. Um, and then things like these chairs, again, owner specifications. So a lot of things you can do here. And they finished this really nicely up around here as well. All those inset lighting and these panels all upholstered really nice. And there is a TV swinging into place. Cool, huh? Right, <laughs> let's keep going. These steps here, I'll just poke my nose up and show you where those go. These basically take you back up onto that flybridge. So again, bar and the seating area and so on. So you don't need to go through and up and all the way that we came before. You can just wander straight up there. Or if you want to get to the foredeck, again, you can just go straight up and, uh, and through that gate that we saw and onto the foredeck. So very, very good routing on this boat. And then if we come on around here, another side door. If we go on up there, that takes us down to the galley. Let's have a wander up. So this is crew routing. If the crew want to come in and out, there we go. You can see the galley in through there. So that's how that works. But we're not going to go that way. We are going to find another doorway. And that is here. And if we open this one, Y95 Princess. Fantastic. We will reveal this stairway. So let's step into here work our way down. This is taking us into two things, three things actually. Crew area, engine space, 
and Beach Club. So, what we're going to show you first, let's show you the engines there and here. As magnificent, I think you'll agree, as the rest of the yacht. Beautifully lit, easy to get to everything, very, very princess. These are a pair of man engines, they're the V12s, they're 2,000 horsepower each. And they're giving the boat top speeds approaching mid-20s. So she's about, you know, 23, 24, 25 knots, that sort of area. Depends obviously loading and where you're using the boat and all that sort of stuff. I think the official figures are 22 to 24. Big brutes of engines, aren't they? And the range on these, well, as ever, it depends how you use the boat. If you're running it fast, you're getting about 350 miles. Bring the speed right back to the displacement levels, however, maybe eight knots, and then you're pushing the range up towards 2,000 miles. So it depends how you want to use the boat. You've got distance if you want it, you've got speed if you want it. What else have we got here? All the hydraulics here. So this is things like the bow and the stern thrusters, stabilizers on this one as well, uh, hydraulic pin stabilizers, and they are actually fitted into the engine room rather than further forward so that you don't get the noise of them when you're in the uh, that aft lower cabin. Generator here, I think I'm right in saying 50 kilowatts each, there's two of those. Let's come right up here. You see what I mean, can't you? Everything is able to be reached. These are a conventional shaft drive, so gearboxes on the back, shafts going straight out, simple as you get, so very little to go wrong there. What else have we got here? This is pretty cool. This is a Sea Exchange Spot Zero. This is both a water maker and a water purifier. And the idea is that if you're washing the boat down, for example, using that water, um, you don't get spots when it dries because it's just perfect, absolutely distilled water. You can see the control panel for it there. The filters and so on are on there, as you can see. Uh, let's go back on a little bit further. What else have we got? We've got a fuel polishing system, that's back here, like so. And so this pumps the fuel between the bunker tank and the day tank, allows you to clean the fuel as it goes. There's fuel filters separately to this as well, but this gives you fuel cleaning and polishing. And there are uh, AC pump and DC pump, so you've got back up there, both systems. And then you've got fuel filters here, you can see which you can switch over from. These are the shafts, you can see them just about. Took the camera down there. Going back down out of the back of the boat. So I say, very straightforward system. We come over to this side. Look at these exhausts, massive exhausts going out. Big engines, aren't they? These are silencers in the corner. These Halyard silencers, another 50 kilowatt, if my memory serves me correctly, generator. You've got air conditioning systems down here as well, of course. That's these fellows along here. These are all separate systems so that you can have different areas of the boat at different temperatures. And that's what those buttons that we saw in the cabins before, those little control units. Superb. Yeah, that is quite an engine space, isn't it? Let's go and look at the crew areas. Now again, there are different layouts down here, depending on how you're crewing the boat. The first thing to mention as we're going past it is the laundry facilities are here. So you've got your Miele Professional. Uh, I think one is a washer and one is a dryer, if I remember rightly. That would make sense, wouldn't it? So that's those fellows. And then what else we've got is crew cabin here. So you've got the two, uh, basically, bunk beds there. And if we come on around, there he is. Um, let's close that one up. Wardrobe and storage and so forth is in there. And then if we cross over here, we will find another two berth crew cabin, again with a storage in like this. That's a, a hanging locker as well, of course. And both of those share a very nice heads 
just here because this has got a proper decent separate shower in through there and you've got the loo and you've got the um, the sink as well of course but then beyond that there is captain's cabin because this nice double bed in this one again with the storage vastly and this has its own ensuite so you've basically got three cabins two toilets and you can sleep up to six there we go very nice indeed got a feeling you can have a pullman in here as well if you want it okay last thing to show you then we come back out here there's those steps that we came down oh i didn't show you you might have spotted it anyway but that's the emergency routing remember i mentioned the hatch that was in the cockpit that's the underside of it there i said i'll show you the inside of it and that is it there's another one of those back here somewhere <laughs> can i remember where it is yeah there it is up in the ceiling so that's another route out of here there are three routes out of this area there's the stairs that we came down there's that emergency exit and then if we go on back again we will discover it's like a dual purpose area it's brilliant what you've got here is the beach club because we're right at water level and this is a transom that comes down now what's great about this is that when the transom is down this makes for a really nice mess area for the crew you've got seating here we've got tv we've got the cooking facilities we've got fridge in there and so forth so it's a nice mess area and when that door is down there is in fact a door within the door so that's another route out of here that takes you straight out onto the bathing platform but with that up of course this makes a brilliant beach club if you want somewhere to sit watch the kids swimming that kind of thing have a drink at water level of an evening that sort of stuff well then you've got that so that's a really good dual purpose area and there is i mentioned tv but there's also even in this area proper name hi-fi i mean the level of detail that goes into this boat just no corners cut is there fantastic and this is back where we started this is where we stepped on the boat in the first place so this is probably a pretty good place to finish what i think you'll agree is a pretty comprehensive tour i'm going to stand just here and i'm going to say massive thanks to princess yachts they give me a full run of this one for as long as i want to give you a really good tour of it and i hope you've enjoyed that i think that's been pretty spectacular huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching if you've not subscribed do me a favor hit that little bell hit the button really helps the channel and we've got some great boats coming let me know what you think of this one in the comments and we'll catch you on one of these real soon take care bye bye